That's Bill. And that's Will. And today we talking. Let's go with the vets in the NFL. The Verse, vets. vets versus the, the NFL. NFL. Exactly. Verse, the vets versus the NFL right now. The Pouncey brothers. Mike Pouncey right now. He's, he's, he's raging. He's raging. He's mad. He's upset. He's telling the, the young players to stay with the vets. You know y'all ain't got paid yet, but we're putting together a fund. Because we, we want to strike. We don't want to play. What do you think about the vets trying to tell the young players, we're going to help y'all out, man. Just trust us and believe us with this new CBA. They got to do it. They got to do it. They gotta, the young guys got to stay with the vets and learn what's going on because in the future they're going to be the vets and then they're going to have to take a stance and they need to learn now what worked, what didn't work. Uh, I know the young players, you know, they're young, they're ready to play, and they want to get paid, they, want, they, got, they got things they want to do, but you got to sacrifice for the greater good. Let the vets, let the vets take the lead and see what happens. Yeah, the sad thing about this, man, is I just got out of college. I'm one year in a pro. Things have got to be paid. And I don't, I, I don't, I, the, the majority of the NFL and who the players they are, probably ain't going to lay money too well. Um, Pouncey said they put to a, together a fund, $250,000 $250, a person, to help, to save up, to help these young guys uh, make it through. Um, I've never seen this happen before, um, to where they're doing this. I don't know if it has happened, but this is my first time seeing it, but for these players to actually do this, they it, it must be something in that CBA that's really telling them like, hey man, this is not good for y'all, it's not going to be good for y'all's kids, this is not going to be good for the younger generation. Um, that 17 games, um, I don't know if it just hinders on that. For me, it would hinder on the guaranteed contracts, but that seems such a far gone conclusion that that would happen that it's not even on the table. But I agree with you. I think you young guys have not went through what these older guys have went through. And y'all don't know what's around the corner. They've been through at least one CBA already. So, yeah, like like Bill said, hey, let them lead y'all. And it's coming in 2021, so they got to they gotta be prepared. It's, and yeah, that means you got a whole year left. Y'all got to sign it right now. Let it draw out. Let it go. Call the owner's bluff. Uh, it feels rushed to me. It feels rushed to a lot of people. Why are they trying to get it done right now? I can understand it. But you got you got a whole year to wait. Let's see if they'll come up with their better offer. You don't have to, you don't have to rush to do anything right now. But I like the fact that they, they're getting a, uh, a fund together. They're getting a fund together. They got a game plan for how to distribute that money to the young players. I like that. You got that's, a, that's a good leadership role right there. That's a, that's a good game. I like it. I, mean, I don't know the intric intricacies of it, but... I like it. You got to have a plan, and they starting out early now. Eric Winston, my guy from Midland, Texas, Lee Rebel, Houston Texan, played for his high school. Yeah, won three championships back to back. To back, he was a bad man. Cedric Benson, R.I.P. Hey, uh, Winston, a lot of people ain't on your side, buddy. Um, a lot of people feel like you are with going with this whole CBA. You're, you're rushing it. You want players to to actually do it and be with the be with the and sign and be with the owners and take this into a new 2020, 2022, and just have a new CBA right off the bat. I hope you are doing the best interest of of the players, man, of the young and old. You got to take care of everybody. Um, insurance wise, mm -hmm. you got to make sure that the next person that takes your spot is elevated. You don't need to worry about the owners. They got two streams of income off the top, just off the muscle. They got two streams. They got whatever they was doing to make them billionaires, and then they got a football team. And so you don't need to worry about them. You need to worry about the players because the players only have one stream right now. And if they become some kind of superstar, like Tom Brady or something, then they can get multiple streams, multiple streams coming in, car dealerships, restaurants, you know, uh, something like that. But right now, you need to focus on the players. This is big, man. 
the CBA is big, um, especially the healthcare part of it. Yeah, this is big, y'all. Um, if you look back and you see the older generation and what they look like and what they're going through, you don't want your kids to go through that one day. You you don't want to go through that one day. So the health stuff, in football and after football, making sure they take care of you, is is something that y'all really need to have. No doubt.